It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in, well, you're, you were pregnant last time you were here. Yeah, and a pandemic happened. Yeah, <laughs> and then a pandemic happened, and you had a child, and, and he's I, now three years old. I know. Three years old. I know. I know. He's like a man. Look at him. Stinky booty. Look Santiago. at him. Santiago oh Bastón. What's his name? Santiago Enrique Bastón Longoria. <laughs> There's... <laughs> It's a lot of names. It's a lot of names. We have a lot of names. I had to literally pick for the passport. They were like, ma'am, that's just too many. What do you call him now? Santi. Santi. Yeah. And, and Santi likes to cook, but he's three years old. That seems dangerous. Yeah. Well, I started cooking when I was three. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I remember pushing up. See, look, that's him making tortillas. And um, we cook all the time. But I'm really, like, um, I'm really liberal. In the kid. Like, I don't care if he throws flour and breaks eggs. And so I'm, you know, that... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. I gave that one to my husband. There you go. Wow. You... He covered our dog in flour that day. Uh, but I like it. I like that he's like textile and he likes to get get in. Get That's dirty. amazing too. And to start that young, he probably will end up being a good cook. I hope so. I feel like a lot of people don't cook anymore. Yeah, I know. Like I'd... Postmates. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, but it, but it, there's something. I mean, I wish I would have learned how to cook, yeah. and it's too late now. I, I don't even want to try. But um, but it's like therapeutic I think, to me. If, yeah, to me it seems like it would be. Yeah. But I think you have to start young and really being I invested yeah. in it. Yeah, and also like when he makes it, he eats it. Like he he has an interest in it, so that it's worked out. What well. what has he besides tortillas? What else can he make? Uh, he helps me make pasta or mm -hmm. tortillas. Do you make or... homemade pasta? I do, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so fun for him because he gets yeah. in there and stuff. Um, we make, uh, you know, I, um, I, we make, he, what, he's obsessed with cupcakes, so I make bran muffins, but I put them in a cupcake paper. Uh-huh. Smart. Yeah. And then popsicle, same thing. It's like a green, it's like a green smoothie that I freeze. Yeah. yeah. So he, when once he learns what a popsicle is. Yeah, it's tricky. <laughs> That'll be different. Yeah. Um, so during the pandemic, a lot of people were doing different things, and uh, I was puzzling, and you were jumping on a trampoline. I was puzzling, too, though. Yeah? Yeah. I'm yeah. obsessed with puzzles. Yeah, I, My husband hates them. It, like, gives him anxiety, and he's like, I can't do it. Get this thing off the table. I'm like, no, I already did the edges. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Have you seen the 3D ones that doesn't even come with a, you don't even know what you're doing until it's made? Those are tricky. No, the, have you seen the circular ones? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're past that. No, I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm No, a, yeah. but I did start jumping, uh, bouncing, uh, trampolining. Yeah, it's really good for your lymphatic system. Yes. It's very good. How long do you trampoline for? An hour. Now an hour. Wow. Yeah, there's hour class. Yeah, there's me on a boat, jumping on a boat. It's so fun, y'all, and it's good on my knees because I'm an old bitch, and so yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all I don't I used to run. I can't yeah. run anymore, but... Yeah. Um, it is, it, it is so fun. There's like this place in New York called The Nest and they, uh, my friend Elsa turned me on to it. And so it's just all um, on, the, on the interweb. <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, iPad. <laughs> um, on the interweb? Um, <laughs> well, grandma, it's called internet. Um, <laughs> no, 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 the um, thingy. The, the thingy and you push play. And it's w, like... w, W, W. Um, <laughs> but no, it's so good for you. It's like literally, and when you can do, you kick your knees up as high as you can for yeah, as long as you can. sprint. I can't believe you do that for an hour. Yeah, That's well, when really I started, though, literally five minutes, and I was cramping in my, yeah, in my leg. Yeah, it's so good for you. That's, it's so good for you. That's and amazing. It's really changed my body. Well, I, I know. It. You're posting bikini pictures. You're so proud of yourself. I don't, bl I don't blame you. There's, there's, I mean, look at that. Well... That's what well, trampoline does. That's what trampoline does. But also, that's what this does. You gotta lay flat. <laughs> and that's like, you're like, how's my stomach look? How's yeah. it look? That's when you take the photo. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's what happens. Uh, but um, yeah, you know what? I was like, let me do it now. Let me take those pictures now before this all goes to Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. You look, I don't know. You look great. Let's talk about the tequila because yes. I want to know uh, what makes your tequila different than other tequilas. There's a lot out there. Oh, my God. I know. There's a lot of it. Well, it it's, comes from a 100% uh, Mexican-owned distillery, for one thing. <laughs> Which is not... It's rare. I didn't know that. I was yeah. Like, yeah, aren't they all Mexican? They're like, no, they're yeah. not. And um, we're not primarily made by women, but there's, uh, we have a lot of women in very big key roles, and tequila is still a very macho industry and so yes. we're very proud of all the women behind uh this particular brand uh completely sustainable ways of like planting the agave protecting the earth and this is the goddess of tequila mayoel and so uh of course all good things are invented by women and <laughs>
So tequila was invented by a goddess, Mayuel, and so we're honoring uh, the heritage of of, uh, of the art of tequila making. And you know, instead of like exploiting it, we want to celebrate yeah. it. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. When we come back. There is a specific way we're supposed to yeah. taste it and yeah. drink it, and yes. and. Twitch and I have volunteered to, <laughs> I mean, to learn how to do that, absolutely. and just yeah, for the yeah. sake of the show. Of okay. Um, all right, and uh, maybe we'll play a game if we have time, or, okay. or we'll just get drunk instead. Yeah. We'll, we'll be back. <laughs> we are back with Eva Longoria, who has a brand new tequila, Casa del Sol, and uh, so we are going to learn from you. Twitch, yes. come on over here. Sure. How sure. to to drink tequila. Yes. And I think most people would not think to put tequila in a like a champagne flute or a, a yeah. glass like this. Well, this is uh, this is actually a tequila glass by uh, Riddle or Riddle. I don't uh -huh. know how you say their names. Uh -huh. uh, but the tequila makers in the tequila region actually made this glass because it's best to drink it out of something like this as opposed to in college and we take the shots. Um, what do you want? You want Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, Twitch? What, what would you recommend? Um, it depends on if you like a yeah. darker or I, I like the uh, you like the blanco. blanco. Yeah. Yeah. I somebody told me that. Yeah. Oh, and that sound nice. <laughs> this, this is kind of Here, like stronger, that's right? Strong. This, it has a strong. Which okay. one? I think this añejo. One. So this is just means the color means it was aged in the barrel longer. Right. So this kisses the barrel. This is in for about three or four months, and that one's like okay. four. This is longer. Okay. So I'm gonna give you reposado. Okay. Do you drink tequila? I have, but I but I, I drank it in the in the way that you that you said before. I just kind of slammed it on back there. Okay, yeah. I don't know how to do that. We're not gonna do that. Okay, okay. So legend is not legend. The way the tequila makers told me, Alejandra Pelayo, who's in charge of our tequila, she says, um, in the art of um, tequila, you have to um, smell it just like you would a wine, but uh -huh. you can look at the person in the eyes. What that if you're, you're sh alone? <laughs> that you're sharing it with. I don't know if you should be drinking tequila alone. I think I, you, tequila's meant for social. I just feel like I should look at Yeah, you, have to, you smell it. I do. Hold that breath in, drink, and then blow it out. And then you'll taste all the notes. So here, here we go. What, cheers. Drink while holding your breath. Cheers. 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 Hold the breath cheers. in. Hold the breath in. Okay. Hold the breath in. Okay, breath in. Right? Smell. I'm going to choke. <laughs> <laughs> You want to Here we go. We smell. <laughs> Did you choke? Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a shot, Twitch? No, I just, I just made him laugh. <clears throat> Did you choke? That is really good. <laughs> no. That is good. No, it really is. But I, but that, I understand what you say. I like it. Thank it's you. delicious. It is delicious. Yeah, it's very. It's very aged in cognac barrels, so it's like uh, as very manala. smooth. Mm -hmm. So smooth, mm -hmm. y'all. Very, very smooth. Ladies, I think it's like, tequila's preferred preferred spirit of women because it has no calories. <laughs> That's not true. Yes, tequila has no calories. It's what you mix it with that. that... Tequila has zero calories. Zero calories. I could be lying. I... <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. That's good to know. It's good All right, to know. it's called Casa del Sol. It's available at casadelsoltequila.com and in stores nationwide next year. And uh, we'll be back.